CVA's Acura Series, Agara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. You got the first one. All right, welcome back everyone. This week's Picture of the Week being brought to you by Flowers Deer Processing. That's just for a couple more days. Because they're not going to be open during the, the, all the way to the end. No, they'll, they'll be open until this Friday, I this, believe. And this, this Friday. Or it might be juvenile. I take that Juvenile back. will I'm be sure Saturday, Sunday. until the end right. of Sunday, yeah. That's right. So they'll be open until the end. 4550 Eaton's Creek Road, right here in Nashville. What we got here, let's see here, our first picture, this is, a, is it Aeon? Am I Aya? Right? Aeon Taylor, mm -hmm. Tayar. Tayar. Eight years old with his first deer, hunted with his dad as odd. And Mary Brandy sent us this picture, so we want Mary to thank Brandy. her for sending Mary that. Mary Brandt. Oh, okay. Well, Mary I'm sorry. Brandt, so it was misspelled. I didn't do that. <laughs> Mary, Mary Brandt for sharing. We appreciate that. We'll talk to Taylor later. Yeah, we'll get Taylor later. <laughs> Our next picture here, this is Mr. Levi Wilson from Wilson's Wildlife uh, Taxidermy. Uh, no. And they've been after the ducks pretty hard the last couple of weeks. Those are all taxidermy ducks. I, I bet he mounted that whole flock. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he didn't a shoot them, did he? He just mounts. carried them outside. <laughs> 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 and uh, you recognize this fella here. This is Kevin Hooper. Yes. And sir. this is a nice buck that he killed just a few weeks ago, actually. That's right. And uh, we appreciate nice, him nice sharing deer. that with us. That, that is an extremely nice yes. deer. So congratulations to him on that. And this deer here, <clears throat> some folks may have already seen this going around over the last few days, uh, but this has been, it's its now been, you know, it's qualified by the, by the DNR. It is now the new world record buck. Yep. Uh, the hunter is Luke Brewster, and he shot this buck that scored just over 320 inches. It was 325 eighths inches. Mm -hmm. This is a wild White tail. Now we've already had people saying, "I bet it's high." This is not, not a high, high fence, fence buck. This no. is the this deer is our, the new world record deer. It's out of Edgar County, Illinois. So one of the, and it was shot in November, by the way. County or you know, I don't, I don't know it where might it might enrich the whole different side of the state. <laughs> yeah, Ed, Edgar County is probably going to be a busy place. It's going to be uh, busy here before long. Uh, but you guys, y'all can send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Parkway, or get them to us on Facebook. We'll get them here and share them with everybody on the show just as quick as we can. That's right. Welcome back, everyone, and uh, let's spend a little time with with uh, Kelly and, and uh, Kelly. This is really. Uh, what they call the season to fill freezers. I mean, usually this time of winter is the time you want to start catching those big ones, put them in the freezer. The, on the crappie? On the crappie. Yeah. It, and, and you know what? I threw in some white bass and some yellow bass. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they've been running together. Yeah, and I'm not, a, I'm not bashful. I'm an equal opportunity they, eater. They, taste, <laughs> they all taste good. Probably. I can't Eat believe the, the size these guys are catching now. It, they're, they're running big right now. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. The, the crappie right now, what I told you, uh, Jeff Hills down there in Garnerville, now uh, he's using jigs and minutes. Um, but I got him some of your canine line, and he thinks you hung the moon. So <laughs> he's like, he's like, dude, I can feel him breathe on that jig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he must have been using that crappie braid. Uh, there's something about P uh, yeah. 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 P line or something. No, no, we don't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I got him some canine, and he's been using it, and so he's. He's like, you. this is making a big difference uh, for his, uh, as far as catching. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and it, but I don't think enough people know, Kelly, that that your line is just as important as your rod, your reel, your setup, oh, everything. When you go fishing, your tackle box is just like a toolbox, and you get the right tool for the job. That's right. Uh, and if you got the wrong tool, it makes it harder. Uh, the one thing I, I... It's like soldering with J.B. Whale, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> one thing people always seem to get wrong, though, is... Uh, let's look here. On about every spool of line, it'll say something pound test. Right. And they walk in the store and they'll say, I want four pound test or I want six pound test. What you don't realize and you got to pay attention to is... Some of these brands cheat on that label. It, oh, yeah. it might say four pound test, but it's 
this big around. Yeah, yeah. And you'll think, man, that's some tough four. Well, you cheated on the label. <clears throat> Go by diameter. If you got a key in on the diameter of the line, how thick is it? Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of hard to floss your teeth with rope. Oh, yeah. They might tell you it's dental floss, but no, it doesn't work. <laughs> but it doesn't work. <laughs> Look at the diameter on every spool, when, especially crappie fishing. A lot of these guys are using 32nd ounce jigs, 16th ounce jigs. 64th ounce. Yeah, and you pitch that out there, and the key is how fast does it fall? That's right. That fall wrecks everything crappie fishing. And obviously, if your line's this big around, versus this big around, the fall rate's going to be totally different. Really? So you want to key in on what diameter line works the best for whatever weight jig I'm using. Uh, there are some guys fish 25 foot deep. You might want a little heavier head because it's got to get down there and you don't want to wait all day for it. Right. But these guys pitching these docks, you're only in 10, 12, 15 foot of water. You can pitch out with four, six, 16th ounce, 32nd ounce head, and you'll start to get a feel for how fast or slow that jig sinks. And you know these crappie are notorious for deadline, and you know, that, jig's, oh, yeah. that jig's going down, and it just stops. If you're not paying attention. Yeah, he's already bit it, chewed yeah. it up, and spit it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of guys like this um, high-vis line. You can see it. Uh, when you use high vis line and that crappie does that deadline trick to you, yeah. that line's going down, down, it stops. Right. You can see it with that. Yes, you can. <laughs> and another little trick we've started using at Canine, we brought out this real, it's actually a guide on Kentucky Lake asked us to start making it. This is super fine braid. We call it crappie braid. You could sew your pants with it. It's so thin, but it's so strong, and it has about the same fall rate as our four or six pound line, somewhere in that range. Right. So if you're used to that fall rate, you can use the crappie brain and have a lot stronger line with a whole lot more feel. I swear you can feel it just swim by this stuff. And uh, it's just really been great. It's caught on. We got the guy who caught the 20 something pound catfish though the other day caught it on our four pound high vis floral. Floral carpet. Yep. Yeah. But uh, it's, everyone has their own preference. This crappie brain, you're either a Ford or a Chevy guy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but let me, I mean, because Kelly, I don't think mm -hmm. enough people, now you, you're talking to a lot of people out here, we're old school. Uh, you know, we, we've caught them with uh, monofilament. We've even moved over to floral carpet. How do you get those guys to even try braid? The advantages of using braid as opposed to the fluorocarbon, just can you give us a little outline? It, well, once again, <coughs> we'll go to diameter. We got that covered. This is so thin, it doesn't affect your, your jig. So right. they can't argue with that. Mm -mm. Uh, it ain't gonna break. They can't argue with that. A lot of guys are fishing some pretty heavy brush. Yeah. Four gets a workout in those limbs. Oh, yeah. This is going to get them out. That's going to bring them on in. Yep. The only downside, if I had a downside for this ultra-thin braid, some of these jig heads, the eye on the jig head isn't closed all the way, and there might be a little gap in it. Uh-huh. you got to watch those jig heads and make sure you <laughs> close that gap, because this line will go through it. It's so thin, it'll go right through it. Yep. And he's talking thin. <laughs> that is some Not thin stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. But it, the what I like about braid above fluorocarbon and monofilament, fluorocarbon be next, is the sensitivity. I'm telling you. It's how many times when you think, I'll just throw it out there. How many guys have ever used a bobber and thrown a bobber out there with a man and watch that bobber and it not move and then bring it in? You got nothing. You've been fishing on credit for the last half hour. That happens with shrimp too, though. Does that happen? You a lot of fishing on credit going yeah, on. Yeah, we don't got good credit either. You ain't got good credit no, when, you, when you're work. fishing on credit. I ain't seen like a yet. fish swim around with a credit card machine yet. Oh, no. And old, old Billy Blackley at Real Foot, he go, a swing and a miss, boy. It's a swing and a miss. But that's. But that's the truth. I mean, you're sitting there with a bobber yep. and you can't even tell it. 
So why not use the most sensitive stuff you can? Yeah, exactly. That's what. That's just my way of thinking. I'm just mm -hmm. a dumb old plowboy, but that's what comes to my mind. Just you might get a few more bites using the fluorocarbon. Okay. You might. Might. But you might lose more and I'm going to lose, or you might not know as many are there as I'm going to know with this stuff. But once again, Ford or Chevy, I got guys, they won't put that, they won't put that down even though they've tried this. And then I got guys who have converted to this, they'll never go back. Chris and I, we just care about the clicker. <laughs> we just want the clicker going off. <laughs> every minute you can get in here, right? Every minute we get in the boat. That's how that won't take clicker. All right, we got to do our product That's of the week, right. buddy. This week's product of the week is being brought to you by Family <coughs> County Fork Outdoors. You can go see them right there at the Donaldson Plaza Shopping Center or stop there and see them off the Center Hill Dam exit at the Big Rock Market. And they're going to be around some of these boat shows here the next oh, few yeah, weeks, too. Yeah, so be yeah. sure you stop by and see yeah. them. They'll um, be at the one in February. Hello. Yeah, they will. They'll, They'll be, be right with there with us. us. And, and, and so will <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. Kelly's going to be with Hey, I picked this up the other day, and just to let you know, this is a, a brand new bike for me. I have never thrown one, but I've been dying to try this because a lot of friends of mine go out to Lake Gunnersville uh, when you get on those pads and <laughs> grass pads, and this is a field mouse. Or field mice. No, it's a mouse if it's single. <laughs> He's got I'm going to get yeah. you all a rig rigged up. Yeah, you might have five of these right. things going at once. <laughs> but, but, you know, my deal is is, is uh, it's great to come across the, little, the top water because I have seen mice going across oh, yeah. from the main to. main lake or main uh, mainland to an island crawling along on that grass. So those bass know that. So try it out. This is made by Live Target. It's probably one of the most lifelike uh, baits I've ever seen. Other than B&B &B Custom Lures. I mean, that's about the most lifelike I've ever seen. <laughs> so check them out. You can get them at most of your stores, your tackle stores. Or you can order them online through Live Target or Tackle Warehouse. One of the two. They'll have it. So uh, check them out. But try this on Gunnerville, and I guarantee you, you might not feel bad about trying it on Chickamauga either. Because, uh, and you better be, throw it on braid. You better <laughs> throw it on braid. That's right. You might go up a bunch Canine braid, by the way. <laughs> yeah, canine braid. <laughs> that's right. Guys, All we're right. going to take another break. We'll be back here in just a minute. We're going to open our phone lines. We'll have some more Southern Woods and Waters. 